This is Eric Moa with Mother.com. Let's take a look at how we can be sensitive to extended moves. And the moves I'm talking about here on this chart can be seen here, here, and of course this final move as of right now, today. All right. So we can see that if you take a look in terms of perspective, we can see that based on the prior move here, in terms of how many points it gained, we can see that was about, let's say, three points or three dollars from here to here. And then notice the next move. What we are looking for is a move bigger than three points or three dollars. And we can see if we take that move from the low to the high. So from here to here, that's about 11 points. So once you see the biggest point move ever, that is telling you that it is time to start looking for an exit. There's another rally here. And so I'm taking the low from the low here to here. That was not the biggest point move. The next biggest point move obviously is from here where we see it almost doubles the previous 11 point gain and goes all the way to 25. So that's call it about a 20, excuse me, a 19 point gain. So 19 point gain from here to here. So whenever you see the biggest extended point move in terms of a continuous move, and this is a monthly chart. So of course, we're talking about the big moves from the lows here to this high. That's 11 points from the lows here to this high. That's about 19 points. So this here was telling you that once it went to the biggest point move in terms of a monthly move, it was time to start looking for a reason to get out or for any failure in the smaller time frames. Now, there's another way to look at this, which is how much movement from the moving average. So let's say take this move from here, this touching the 10 week moving average, 10 month moving average to this high. So, so that would be something like that, where we take the move from here to here. And the next time we see any move bigger than that from the moving average, we know it's time to be sensitive to the possibility of a major pullback. And we can see another move here, almost of the same distance and space. So that also was telling us it had equally the previous expanded move from here to here in terms of movement from the 10 week moving average. And we can see this movement from here to here is all almost the same. And that also did lead to some type of a pullback. Now, of course, the final move was way extended. You can see it, w it goes way above the prior extension from the 10 week moving average, 10 month moving average, excuse me again, 10 month moving average clears the previous expanded move from the moving average and adds on some more points to the upside. So that was really expanded. The distance and the space from the moving average did mean that at some point it was due and ripe for a correction back to the moving average. So the more it's really expanded from the moving average, the more we can expect a strong snapback back to the moving average. And you can see just by understanding that as being an extended move, you would have avoided this major correction. Once you started seeing any sign of failure at this level here, looking for things like failed breakouts, negative divergences, and things like that. So just be on the lookout for expanded moves. It tends to suggest the reverse is about to happen. Eric Moore, this mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings.